What is up YouTube? It's Robert and I got another really quick video for you guys today. I'll show you a project we've been working on on the truck. So let's get back there and check it out. Well, there it is. This is our Badlands uh, 12,000 pound winch Harbor Freight Special. This is actually a really nice winch for the price. Uh, 350 bucks with this, including the wireless controller, the controller in the winch, 350 bucks with a pair. Um, I have used it to pull some serious stuff up on the trailer. This truck, of course, there's a video with us using the uh, this winch to pull that big F-150 that we had up on here on the trailer. It's bolted to a plate we had when we had the trailer custom built. Had them build a winch plate system there, so it is nice and sturdy. We keep the winch tied off at the back here. But the wireless remote makes it really easy to stand back here and do your stuff. The only thing I don't like about the remote is it has a delay. So like you push the button out, let go, push in, let go. So it's not really precise. So you might be asking yourself, Robert, where is the electronics for the winch? We see the winch. We don't see the control solenoid or the wireless module. Well, lovely YouTube viewer, it is hidden inside this dirty box. So there you go. There's the control box, the wireless module. It just plugs in right there to the side of the winch box. It allows you to unplug it if you need to and use your wired winch. You can see it hanging down there. Um, this was really easy to do. Took the top off the box, screws removed from the back side of the box. There are already holes pre-punched for mounting this flat. Mounted it flat onto the toolbox. Problem is, once you do that, you can't put the screws back in. So as you can see, I had to make a redneck engineering there to get the box top to stay back on. But this toolbox isn't gonna get wet. And that isn't really a sealed box to begin with. Um, drilled a hole there, two holes with a three quarter inch bit and ran the wires out that way. That one was a little short, so drilled its own hole there. And you can see, they hook back up there. That's all tore up already. I have to get another one for that. And then they run over there to the battery on the trailer. And the battery on the trailer has a charge back, which goes through the harness to the truck so that the truck will charge the winch battery back while we were going down the road. The box used to be bolted on top here. You can kind of see where it was. Uh, they have a problem with this winch and that the line is too thick and there's too much line for the size of drum. So when you spool this all the way in and this winch brake here that is um, spring loaded, which is hard to move, uh, opens all the way up, it breaks the box off the top. So the box shouldn't a lot of time flopping around. You can see it scratched up there on the top. And it was kind of loose for a long time, for about three months. Today, I finally got around to hiding all the electronics. So the remote is supposed to be good for 50 feet. So now I'm going to walk to the front of that camper, which is definitely more than 50 feet, and see if this thing still works. All right, so now we are definitely a good 50 feet away. And it works. I'm gonna to walk to the back of the camper, see if it'll work. It works. It works with no problem. Now what I haven't done, like a genius, is make sure that all this crap will fit back in here. Tie down cord. Use that or put stuff on here if people don't try to steal rough carts and whatnot. Uh, I did buy GoPros, you guys, but I just haven't. I don't have them with me, so that's why I'm using the iPhone again. Anyway, I don't want to see all this crap up. A ton of crap for this trailer. So there you go. There you have it. The Badlands winch, control module, wireless controller, and the 12,000 pound winch itself installed on our 26 foot, 16,000 pound car hauler. Thanks guys, appreciate you watching the channel. As always, subscribe. Cool stuff coming for the, uh, the Cummins for El Diablo Blanco here. Uh, lots of emergency lighting going on. And somebody say uh, emissions delete? Uh, so that is my quick review of the Badlands 12,000 pound winch with the wireless remote. Talk to y'all later. Peace.